Hey guys, back with another video. And a few, like, maybe a week ago, not sure, but, um, I made the video of what if players are declared for a national team, and I'm back with it again. And the funny part is, it's again another 442. It's another 442. <laughs> I really didn't expect to use 442 this many times, but why not? Because this team, it also uses a 442. So, yeah, and by the way, the national team we're doing, you guys already know, but what if Algerian players had declared for them? Um, so, again, like when, like I did with the last one, if players had descent or heritage from the national team, then they get to play for that national team. So, Algeria, like, a, like let's say a player has heritage, like, their mom is from there, or their dad's from there, they're eligible to play. Or, like, their grandparents are from there, then they're eligible to play. So, what if Algerian players with descent or heritage had played for the Algerian national team? So, let's start off in goal. Just like in the surname one, it's another not great goalkeeper. Um, Rami Mboli is the goalkeeper for this position. He's, I think, like, 37 years old. 36 or 30, like 35 years old. He's been the Algerian goalkeeper since like 2010, I think. Like, so he's been the goalkeeper for Algeria for a while. He has experience at, at, as the Algeria goalkeeper. There weren't many Algerian goalkeepers I could find or players with descent of Algerian heritage I could find. So I thought, let's just, let's just go with the, the, the starting goalkeeper because he has experience there. He knows how to play there, he he knows the team, he'll probably be the captain, because I think he is the captain, one of the captains, at least in the national team, and I think he deserves it, so, Mboli is in goal for this team, on the right, it's Yusef Atawa, um, he's a very quick player, he's very fast, very good, he, um, is, is a, he's a right back for Nice currently, um, and he, he's definitely gonna be a good one, uh, Ben Savani could have played in that position, but we're going to get on to him very soon. Because at center back, I've got Ben Savani. Rami Ben Savani, he's, he's, a, he's a right back. You know, he, he's a left back, my bad, but he can play center back. So, um, he is a left back, but he can play center back. So, I'm going to play him at center back because we have another left back who, who might be, like, a bit less less as good. But he's... but. We kind of find a lot of good other center backs. So, why not? I'll just go for Ben Sabani. So, Ben Sabani will play at the center back. He's currently 26. He, um, he actually plays for the Algerian national team. And he plays for Munch and Gladbach. So, good player. Um, he's also six foot one, so pretty tall one. And he can play left back or seven at center back, so he's pretty versatile. So, yeah, um, Ben Sabani is our right center back and then our left center back is um isa Men mandi isa mandi i think he's 29 years old and he plays with villarreal he played for um he he did play for real betis but he signed for villarreal last summer um he also plays for the algerian national team and he's done pretty good for them because he's represented them for a while now so isa mandi pretty good center back he's good He's hot. He's like a good player to have, and he's gonna be our left center, left side center back. So Isamandi goes in at the left side of center back. Now the left back is um, current player for Napoli, Fauzi Gulam. So yeah, Gulam. He's a left back for Napoli. He doesn't start though, but he also plays for the Algeria national team. Like oh, not a lot of defenders I could find, but you're gonna see in, like midfield and attack especially there's a there's a good amount of players um even if though, the Algerian national team is still pretty good but there's a few French players who could play for them so yeah uh left back we go for Fauzi Goulam and he's, I think he's also like 28 29 something or maybe 27 who knows um left mid this is a bit of a controversial one maybe because he hasn't played for Europe and played in Europe since 2019 he played for Porto he pl he's playing guitar right now. Again, I couldn't really find a lot of left midfielders. Like, a lot of them have, like, African descent, but not Algerian. Like, by the way, Zinedine Zidane, if he did play, then I would play him probably here. Or maybe in the midfield at center mid. Um, but because he is Algerian. Zinedine Zidane, if you didn't know, he's Algerian. Um, 
But the left bat, the left bat I'm going for, he's 32 years old. Only just turned 32, so he's still at a bit of age. I think he's still not that old. And his name is Yasin Brahimi. Brahimi, he's an okay player. He, he's, he, he's been in Qatar now for a few years. But, he, again, he plays for the national team. I don't think he actually plays anymore uh, for the national team. But he was really good at Porto. He was really good until he went to Qatar for the money. But he's still a very good player, and I still think he, we can get something out of him. So, Brahimi is a left mid at 32 years old, and he's still a good left midfielder. So, yeah, Brahimi is in the left mid. Center mid. Now, he's not really a center mid. He's a cam, but I, I want to play him at center mid because why not 4-4-2? Um, and that player is Nabil Fakir. Fakir, he was very good at Lyon, especially in the 2018-19 season. He was very good. Uh, also 2017-18, he was also pretty good then. But 2019-20, he signed for Real Betis in the summer of 2019. First season didn't really go out to plan. They finished 15th, I think, which is not good for Real Betis. They're currently third right now, and they finished 15th in 2019-20. So yeah, not a good season then. Didn't really do well. 2020-2021 was a bit better. I think they finished... I want to say they finished like ninth. So, something I think I do think it was in the top ten. I just don't think it was. It was definitely not a competition, but they definitely did well. And he, I think he's done. He was actually in the team of the year for um, team of the season for the Spanish league. So that just shows how good his twenty 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 one season because he was in the team of the season for La Liga. So yeah, Fakir will be in the center mid position, and the other center mid, uh, it's uh. Uh, it's Beniser. Yeah, so Beniser, he plays for Milan currently. He's like early 20s. I think he's like 25 or 24. Um, plays for Milan. He starts at Milan. Just shows how good he is. And he also is from Algeria. And he did, um, play. Um, and he also played at Empoli in the 2018-19 season. Um, and also is a very talented player. He's got like high 80s potential could be a very good player for this algerian national team and now i go to right mid now this one it's very easy if you don't know then makes sense but still it's he's the best algerian national team player it's Riyad Mahrez. i think he's 30 right now but he's still very good he's like the, i think he's the captain um but he's still a really good player he plays for man city he's still doing a good job at man city and he definitely deserves to be in this team. And he because he's the best player from Algeria. Now this is the, the this is the really good part. Two strikers that it's gonna be very hard to unbeat it's gonna be very hard to beat this two striker lineup if I when I keep on doing this series. Because these two strikers are probably at like top five best strikers in the world. Top five best strikers. Probably the two best strikers in France are both from Algeria. First striker on the right side, it's Karim Benzema. Yes, Karim Benzema is Algerian. He actually tried to play for the Algerian national team like back in 2019. He's now back at the French national team after they banned him. But um, now he's back, and he, and he is Algerian, which makes him allowed to play for Algeria. So, yeah, the, it makes complete sense. And he is... I still think, in skill, maybe wise, I think he it. I think Mbappe beats him in pace and skill, but I think shooting and like, like, I want to say like shooting and goals. Benzema's better. Like, look at Benzema this season. He has seventeen goals, four more than the second more in La Liga, and like. I do think he is, like, the most underrated striker in the world. Now people are kind of, like, like, not ma putting him less underrated, but I still think he's the most underrated striker in the world. He, for me, was top three strikers last year. Top three. He did so good. And the, le the next striker is Kylian Mbappe. Yes. I just said Kylian Mbappe. I think I just said him before, so. But even if Kylian Mbappe is the next player. Kylian Mbappe, the most potential player, is Algerian. Fun fact, his mom is Algerian, I think. Yeah, his 
Helena Bobby's mom is Algerian, and his dad is Cameroonian. So he could play for France, he could play for Algeria, and he could play for Cameroon. Obviously, he's going to play for France. Unless Algeria just becomes like, the best team in the world, he's going to play for France. But yeah, that's the team. What do you guys think about that? Mbappe and Benzema as the two strikers in this 4-4-2 formation. If we do like a FIFA sim, which I am thinking of maybe doing one day in like a full league of these like i did with the what if like i'm gonna do maybe with the what if series then this would be really exciting because i would love to see all, all the teams i got thinking up against each other what do you guys think of this video i hope you liked it because i thought it was really fun we got mboli we got ben um, atal ben sabani um mandi gulam brahimi fakir ben menacer morris benzema and Mbappe. and by the way for this, I might do manager, and the manager is Zinedine Zidane, because he's Algerian. Hope you guys like this video. Remember, Zinedine Zidane, the manager. I'll see you guys later. See ya.